Hey everybody, Brad again. Um, video number two of, of a little bit of our in-depth uh, upward soccer uh, discussion. Um, the first video I mentioned the, the concept of using a team chaplain. Um, I'm going to talk more about that here in this video. Um, so imagine this. Um, each team has a practice, one practice per week for one hour. And most of the time parents come and they, they show up in the parking lot, kids get out, they run out onto the field uh, to meet the coach and you know they're starting to kick the ball around and everything. And the parents um, or grandparents, whoever it is, that brings a child, a lot of times they'll bring a bag chair and sit along the sidelines and just stay and watch. A lot for them to, to come drop it off and go. Sometimes they have errands and they actually do come and go, but more and more often than not, they, they just sit along the sideline and watch the game, or excuse me, watch the practice. Um, so imagine having a team chaplain to where, you know, the coach is on the field with the players, um, teaching the game, um, working with them on drills and skills and things like that. Where a team chaplain is now partnered up with the coach, and while the coach is on the field, the team chaplain can go around to all these parents and family members with their own bag chair and just pull up a chair and sit down and, and strike up conversation. And, you know, early on it can just be getting to know them and, uh, you know, if there's a, a small child, you know, what's their name, Johnny, so where do you go to school, where do you live? We would like, or hopefully it would get to the point that, you know, do you attend church? Um, is there anything I can pray for you about? Um, just whatever the case would be, but it would be an opportunity to just connect on a, a stronger basis than what the coach is able to do because they're out on the field with the players. And they just get a chance to talk with parents for just a few minutes either before or after practice and it's not a chance to truly connect. So the, the concept of the team chaplain is the coach is on the field, the chaplain is supporting growing connections. Um, the devotion period, I could see where the chaplain would lead uh, those, those devotion periods for the players. But what we've done in the past is keep the parents separate and we, the coach is talking to the players. I think it'd be great if we just went ahead and gathered everybody up together. And so the, the team chaplain is using the material that Upward gives us as well as I think we can work to prepare them every week, you know, on a Saturday, get together for a brief period of time with the chaplains and talk through the material for the next week. Um, again, you know, preparing them for that. And so then the chaplain pulls everybody together for 10 minutes in the middle of practice and they're going through that and teaching the kids, but at the same time the parents and family is around them and they're hearing that truth as well. And, and for those that this is an act of discipleship because they are um, believers, then this gives them a common place for the parents and the, the kids as they leave practice and drive home, something to talk about. Hey, little Johnny, what did you think of the, the devotion today? Um, things of that nature. So that's really what the vision of this team chaplain is, is someone that's called, someone that's got the heart to connect with people um, again, as, as an outreach, but it's a here at Liberty on, on the soccer fields. Um, it would be a, a commitment of one night a week for 11 weeks. Um, also, it would be great, you know, just for them to come on Saturday mornings and sit with a lot of the parents and, and just cheer on the team and growing and strengthening those connections, um, creating more opportunities and, and just showing those that come from, from outside Liberty that whether they're a member of a church or not, particularly if they don't, um, are not members of churches, you know, just to, to show here is the love that Jesus has working and manifesting itself through us um, and, and causing them to ask, what's different about them? Why, why would they do this? Why are they so interested in me? Um, Planting those seeds to let the Holy Spirit just truly work and draw on them. Everything that I just described um, for the first six seasons has really been up to the coach to try and do that. And maybe it's a little bit 
different for me because I'm also the director at the same time as I'm trying to coach. And so I'm many, many different facets and aspects, but it's, it's extremely difficult for coaches to do all of that that I just, just shared um, is what the, uh, you know, a vision of how things could be. And so that's where having a, a coach that, that has the opportunity to focus on the athletics and teach the skills of soccer so that kids, you know, we don't know who will go on and do different things, whether they play middle school or high school ball. Um, but for the coach to be able to focus on that and yet have a partner that's able to focus on the ministry and they come together in partnership of what this ministry is all about, matching up the love of sports with the gospel of Jesus Christ.